All right, page 101, multi-step equations, problem one. You got 5, and it's equal to 5m minus 23 plus 2m. All right, on the right side of the equal sign, you've got a 5m and you've got a positive 2m. When you see two or more of the same variable, you got to combine like terms first, okay? So you bring down your 5, you bring down your equal sign, you take these two and you combine them. And you're combining a 5m and a positive 2m. And what do you get? 7m minus 23. All right, and now it's a two-step equation that we did Thursday. So add 23 to each side. And what's that? 28 equals 7m divided by 7. 4 equals m. Try 11m minus 8. Minus 6m equals 22. Now, it, I'd like you to try this right here, especially as these problems start getting a little more complicated. You put a line through your equal sign. The line through the equal sign means that whatever I do to one side of the line, I have to do the exact same thing to the other side of the line. Okay? Right now you're going to combine because you have two like terms on one side. So what's 11n minus 6m? It's 5m. It's still a minus 8, and it's equal to 22. If you combine like terms on one side of the line, you don't have to combine like terms on the other side of the line. Okay, You didn't change the value of the left side of the equation. All you did was clean it up. So now you're going to add 8 to each side. The 5m comes straight down, and it's equal to 30. Divide each side by 5. And m equals 6. As these problems get more complicated, the neater you can keep your paper, the more organized your brain is going to stay, the less likely you're going to be to make a mistake. Negative 2y plus 5 plus 5y equal to 14. Again, you're going to combine like terms. Negative 2y and a positive 5y. 3y. Bring down the plus 5, and it's equal to 14 still. Subtract 5 from each side. 3y is going to equal 9. Divide each side by 3. All right, on the next page, 102, you're going to see some distributive property. You got negative 8 times 2x minus 1 equal to 36. That number outside of parentheses means to multiply it by everything inside the parentheses. 
So your negative 8 times 2x is negative 16x. Negative 8 times negative 1, positive 8 equals 36. Subtract 8. Negative 16x equals 28. Divide by negative 16. And x equals biggest number that goes into 28 and 16. Good, 4. So that's negative 7 over 4. Yes? No, just leave them like that. Get used to leaving fractions alone. Just simplify them. Because when we start doing slope and lines and things like that, you're going to need that fraction sitting in improper fraction form. Eighteen equals three times two x minus six. Now you have to distribute this 3. So your 18 equals 6x minus 18. Add 18 to each side. 36 equals 6x. Divide by 6. And 6 equals x. Any questions? All right, your assignment for today is page 103. One through four, nine through fourteen, eighteen through twenty-three. Make sure you're checking the odds in the back.